Hey travelers, I was fiddling with some of these X11 amp boards. I got a bunch over there left to fix, they're all broken. And I always like the displays on these. Obviously it's super cool to see how much current you're drawing. You could do it for system diagnostics and just make sure you're balanced and all these things. It's, it's a cool safety feature too. But I was always wondering how much power does it take? And they were, to me, always blindingly bright. So this one, you can see I lifted it off the board over here on resistors and well, the current display is actually physically removed for the time being, but we'll get to that. And it actually takes a lot more power than I thought. So this one right here is showing 5.4, 5.5 watts. Obviously that's idle, right? It's not doing anything other than powering the power supply and this little screen thing. Um, and if we switch over to this one, which is modified, but this is untouched. So it takes the normal amount of power that these boards normally take. And I'll unplug the one and I will plug in the other one, okay, and this guy turns on, you can see super bright screens on these, which is kind of cool, I guess, but it's on 24 seven and it's kind of not that necessary for it to be that bright. And you look at the power, 12.6 watts. So it's shocking how much power those blindingly bright screens take. Switch back to the other one, you know, nice and dim. You could see it fine, obviously, in person, and, you know, obviously you could control the brightness, whatever you want, but massive difference in power consumption, um, which is kind of shocking, honestly. If you put something like this board on, which I could try doing, but holding the camera, uh, this is like 4.8 watts or so, compared to something like 5.5 watts. Uh, let's try and do that here for a demo. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's plugged in. We switch over. Just to show you how much like a regular board takes that doesn't have any electronics on it. it takes a little while for it to settle. 4.9, 4.8, something like that. And that's this board, no lights, no nothing. You can see the power is on, so there's power here, but it doesn't do anything. Um, so compared the 4.8 watts to around 12, that's shocking. I don't really value these screens as to how much power they're taking. So I'm curious, does anyone have any ideas how I could get in here and add some resistors to these leads? The problem is there's no clearance. You would need to be able to get to the leads on the bottom of the thing here. And if you look at the pinout of these displays, the ones you need to get to are this one at the top, all the way on the left, and the two one over from the right. So, you know, it's kind of hard to point to this one, this one, and the one all the way over on the left. And that's what I did here. So, on this bottom one, the voltage thing, these two leads actually run through vias. So you have access to them on the back side of the PCB if you uh, take this plastic acrylic backer off. You have access to those and you can put little resistors on the surface mount leads. But this one over here, if you want to control this first digit, this one is going right to a pin on this uh, voltmeter chip here. So I don't know how you would get in there to do that. And it's a lot of work to desolder these displays and somehow cut the trace, put a little surface mount resistor in there or something like that. I don't really know if it's worth it. These are the this line right here is the power running to the thing and this is the sense lead running past the resistors um trouble is you can't just switch these leads you have to switch them both because there's a capacitor underneath this one decoupling between those uh to, to minimize transients presumably between these two leads um so you would need to be able to switch this one and this one which makes it a lot more complicated if you just want to put a switch in here just turn these on and off um but otherwise, these are totally independent. Uh, if you look at the circuit here on here, there's a little 5-volt regulator that powers this chip and this chip. There's a lead that runs up between them. Um, but if you put a resistor on there, uh, this regulator chip gets lower voltage, and the sense lead for this voltmeter gets less voltage. So that doesn't work. It just you know shows lower voltage. Um, not that I really care about the voltmeter at all, but the trouble is this 5-volt regulator is necessary for this top current section too. So in just a stationary config like this, you can't really modify it externally easily, best I could see. So I don't know, maybe you guys got some tips or tricks or something to help out with this. 
I don't know any other way other than desoldering these and doing a lot of fiddly little work with little itty bitty surface mount resistors, which is doable, but I just wonder if it's worth it for the five watts or so you could save on each of these. But you could easily save five watts and still have the voltmeters working, which is, I think, kind of cool. I don't know. Let me know what you got. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not it's worth it or whatever, I'm just being a little crazy. But I do think it's a little ridiculous that this is taking five or six watts for these blindingly bright screens when you could get most of the value and save the power if they just put resistors on the board there that would add it a few cents. But I get it. You know, it looks cooler and people don't care. But yeah, what do you think?